A team at the Leicester Diabetes Centre have performed groundbreaking research that has changed and improved international guidance on physical activity and diabetes. It is well known that regular exercise is very important for people living with type 2 diabetes, but this new research from the Leicester Diabetes Centre has shown that all of our activity in a 24-hour period can have an important impact on type 2 diabetes. Our behaviours around sitting, walking, exercising and even sleeping all have an important effect on our overall health. Now we know what a difference a day makes when we think about our activity levels and our health. The latest guidelines for people living with type 2 diabetes now include the five S's. These stand for sitting, stepping, sweating, strengthening and sleeping and it is important to think about these every single day. Sitting. Nowadays, most of our 24 hour day is spent doing activities that involve sitting down. For example, working at a desk, driving or watching television. By simply reducing the amount of time we spend sitting and taking regular activity breaks during our sitting time, we can make a real difference to our overall health. We suggest taking breaks every 30 minutes throughout the day to do activities like walking or even simple body weight exercises like calf raises. Stepping. Increasing our step count is a well-known piece of health advice and most of us have probably heard the guidance that we should do 10,000 steps per day. But this new research has shown that even a small regular change can make a big impact on our long-term health. For example, you could live around four years longer just by taking a five to six minute brisk walk every day. Sweating. By taking time to do exercise that makes us sweat, not only can we lower blood glucose and insulin resistance, which are very important in people with type 2 diabetes, we can also improve our heart health and mood and keep ourselves healthier as we age. This type of exercise is often described as moderate to vigorous physical activity and it involves using large muscle groups in rhythmic exercise that makes you breathe faster than normal so it's hard to keep up a conversation. Examples of moderate to vigorous physical activity include brisk walking, swimming and cycling. Results show that we need to be doing this moderate to vigorous physical activity as well as our active breaks. We should work towards 150 minutes or more of moderate to vigorous physical activity per week with no more than two days off between activities. To make the most of the benefits of this type of exercise, we should try to do it around two to three hours after eating and ideally for longer than 45 minutes. Strengthening. We should also do two to three strengthening sessions a week. Strengthening exercise is any activity that uses your own body weight or works against a resistance, such as weights. Examples of resistance exercises include squats and lunges. Strength exercises are important to help reduce the risk of falls in the future, help your day-to-day -day physical function and can slow accelerated aging. Activities like Tai Chi and yoga are not only good for strengthening, but also include flexibility and balance, which are very important for older individuals and for individuals with limited mobility. Sleeping. Sleep problems are common in people with type 2 diabetes, and these can include issues with the amount, quality and timing of sleep. Either having more than nine hours or less than six hours of sleep can increase blood sugar levels, both in the short and long term. Fortunately, even simple changes can make a huge difference to our sleep. By making sure our bedrooms are quiet, dark, relaxing and at a comfortable temperature and by putting away mobile phones and other electronic devices at least 30 minutes before bed, our sleep can really improve. Going to bed and waking up at the same time every day, even the weekend, can also help. This research shows that lots of small, regular changes to our activities throughout a 24-hour period, even whilst we sleep, can make a huge impact on our long-term health. Remember, 
You don't need to go to the gym to become physically active. There are so many options out there. It's about finding what is best for you. Physical activity can be enjoyable, be incorporated into your lifestyle and suit your ability, whatever your level. Both sweating and strengthening activities can be performed when sitting or whilst standing. For strengthening, equipment can be regular household items such as tins, bottles, milk cartons of appropriate weights. The Leicester Diabetes Centre has a catalogue of tools to improve the 24-hour health behaviours to suit different ability levels. Visit our website for more details. What a difference a day makes.